My best friend is 30 years younger than me. He just turned 40. I've known him for more than 15 years, so I've watched him age. He's watched me age too. I was 55 when we met, now I'm 70. He saw what time did to me, but it wasn't until recently that he saw what time is doing to him. Thoughts and feelings about aging become internalized as beliefs when you see it happening to you. Your opinions about the meaning of life itself change when you realize you're in a vehicle that's going to stop running altogether at some point. Oscar Wilde said, youth is wasted on the young. The old scorn youth by internalizing their thoughts and feelings about growing old as harsh opinions raised like a fist to God. I have another friend who's 10 years younger than me. He's now experiencing the consequences of a lifetime of traumas that rear-ended him like traffic accidents on the road of life. Life left him in need of bodywork that religion can't offer. Aging drew him down his rainbow of hope through red rage, orange angst, yellow fear, and all his green cravings for a different container filled with different contents. Now he's blue with regrets, disappointments, and grief. Now he feels separate and distant from everyone. He's lonely and is finally ready for a long-term monogamous relationship. Old men look like fools when they come late to the game. They never took every player seriously. They didn't watch the game unfold. They don't know the score. Now all they can see are the empty seats around them, and they're worried how they're going to get out of the stadium without God's help. Growing old makes you sad. Being sad makes you lonely. And being lonely makes you afraid if you haven't befriended yourself. Self-intimacy is like sex. You have to come to love yourself so dearly that your head and heart produce an inner child that the two of you can raise to maturity. This makes you soulful. This is the family of voices, your head, heart, and soul. This were, is my wise thoughts, loving feelings, and realistic opinions about myself that now get me out of the nightmare my desires still tempt me to engage in. Good thoughts. I'll tell you more about me from contemplating my navel tomorrow.